Welcome back to New Day Northwest. The Intamun Theater is bringing Seattle a new comedy called Two Mile Hollow, and it has a pretty interesting premise. So we invited some of the cast members on for a round of hot topics. Here to tell me more about these topics are actors Annie Yim and Naho Shioya and my executive producer, Joseph Sutton. Good morning. So thank you all for being here. Thank, thank you for, you having, for us. having us. Uh, we are excited. Tell us all about Two Mile Hollow. So, Two Mile Hollow is about a very, very, very wealthy family that is white um, and dealing with their family trauma, played by all Asian Americans. And what I think is interesting is that this is a premise that's turned kind of up on, on its head <laughs> what we have seen in the past, right? The aspect of Asian people playing white characters in this, but for so many years in, in film, we've seen white people playing Asian and other people of color. Yeah. Yes, that's correct. Is that kind of, was that kind of the premise and the idea when going forth with this? Well, I, do you, I, well, the playwright has specifically said, like, this is a, you know, rich white people by the water genre, and I want the cast to be Asian Americans, AAPI, Asian American Pacific Islanders, mm -hmm. or people of color. Mm -hmm. And that was very specific in her stage. Yeah, yeah and I, I think one of the things that Leah, the playwright, said, which I thought was beautiful, she said that she would be auditioning all of these amazing actors, mm -hmm. and they would come in, and their resumes had the same things. Uh, they had The King and I, they had Madame Butterfly, mm. Miss Saigon, yeah. and she was like, why isn't anybody getting to do these other works? Why aren't they getting richer characters? And so she said that she wrote this specifically to allow Asian Americans and people of color actors to have a wide variety of emotions that they could portray on stage. It's fascinating and I want to talk more about when when the performance is happening and when people can see it. But what do you think of this idea? Well, I was just telling them before we taped this segment, since <laughs> I am white and Asian, the mm. concept of this was so fascinating to me because I felt like if I'm excited to go see it, when I see it, I will probably see things on both sides, you know, which is mm -hmm. very interesting. I mean, it's multiracial people see this throughout their whole lives. Mm -hmm. yeah. But, you know, I just was a very interesting concept to me, and yeah. I thought it also sounded like it could be very funny. Well, that's the it's, whole thing. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's not, you know, where they're dealing with trauma and all the, but it is a comedy. It's like a hilarious, kooky, bizarre, crazy, I don't even know other adjectives to yeah. add to it. It's, it's a funny, funny story. It is funny. And I, it's one of the things we talked about is like, yes, it is funny, but also, why is it funny? Or is it supposed to be funny? Mm -hmm. That kind of question, I hope, will rise as you're watching, mm -hmm. like, oh my god, this is so funny. Oh wait, is it supposed to be funny? Yeah. Depending on, yeah. like Joseph, you said, who are you mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and where are you, you know, how are you positioned in this yep. world we exist be based on your race and yeah. your experience. So I think that's where it's going to yeah. be yeah. very clever. Yeah. yeah, I mean, because I think the edge between comedy and drama, we all know, is razor thin. Is yes. razor thin. Moment, next yep. moment. Right. <laughs> yep. and and sometimes we need the comedy to deal with the drama. That's but right. Sometimes it's too much and we yep. need to focus that's on the drama. Right. So I am really fascinated to see this. Great. Um, on another topic that we have seen and on the topic of, of, of racism, yeah. Ali Wong. Sad news, she's getting divorced from mm. her husband. Mm -hmm. And if y'all don't know who Ali Wong is, she's a hilarious Very comic. Funny. Very funny. Um, first time I ever saw her was pregnant. There oh. she is. <laughs> and and with, on the stage with no shoes on and talking about pregnancy, and yeah. I loved her to pieces. But here's the deal. When um, her divorce was announced, Parade Magazine, they put the picture of yeah, so her co-star. Justin co Hakuda yeah. is on the right, her husband. Right. Yes. But then they accidentally used a photo on the, uh, a different photo of the two on the left, right. yeah. Randall Park, yeah. who was yeah. her co-star in Always Be My Maybe, which is another funny film, but you know, it's not the first time that no. this has happened to an Asian person. No, Hashtag it's not. wrong Asian, you know. And <laughs> we just had that conversation too, and <laughs> you know, talk about actors on stage, and I had another conversation with another Asian actor in the show about, you know, we will be doing a show or somebody mm -hmm. else, one of my colleagues mm -hmm. will be in the show and somebody else will come up to you and said, I saw you in that yes, show and you were yes, so great. Yes. And I'm like, mm, that wasn't me. Yeah, but. <laughs> <laughs> yeah I mean, it, it's obviously, it's sad that this mm -hmm. is happening, but it's also just sad for them personally yes. to feel uh, like, yeah. oh, we all look alike. That idea that all Asians look alike and somehow, you know, we're all just one person. So yeah. if you know an Asian person, you know all the Asian people. Yes. 
And if the divorce wasn't bad enough, now, now you're dealing with this. I will say, though, if you watch her latest comedy special on Netflix, she talks about her husband a lot. Yeah. And it's so interesting. She was very open about mm -hmm. things going on. And I'm like, wow, they must have a very strong marriage for how she's talking about him. So now that they're getting divorced, I'm like, oh, this is so oh, sad. Yeah. yeah. It's a lot. But I do appreciate her going out on that ledge to acknowledge all the feelings that we all feel. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Especially as wives, pregnant ladies, husbands, yeah. all the yeah. things. All right, yeah. oh, we got one time for one last yeah. topic on Hot Topics. So this one is interesting. Twitter went crazy with the news <laughs> oh, yeah. that Elon Musk has <laughs> bought Twitter now. Yes. Um, and he says, I hope that even my worst crit critics remain on Twitter because that's what free speech mm. means. Now that opens the door for a lot of questions. I saw a lot of people asking if they will reinstate, if he will reinstate President Trump's account. I mean, we what do we know. all think of this? Oh, him. I'm sure he will. <laughs> like, yes, he's obviously going to reinstate it. He obviously wants to have a platform where voices are going to be heard, however ugly or, I mean, absurd they're going to be. This is part of, I think, Feels what like a stir he the wants. pot moment. But, oh, yeah. A stir the pot moment, indeed. But I want to know when. When do you stop things? When things become bullying? I mean, I've been attacked on Twitter before. Oh, yeah. Sure. I've had yeah. horrible things said to me, yeah. and I report that right away. Yeah. yeah. But, you know, sometimes, you know, some of it isn't that easy. No. And, yeah, go ahead. I think I was also thinking when this came up to, like, you know, the freedom of speech mm -hmm. and what's okay to say and what's not okay That's to right. say. That's right, saying. Right, and you know, the responsibility and the freedom, and I also, as a parent, you, yeah. right, what do we say to our kids? Yeah. Like, I mean, but that's the thing, like for uh, the freedom of speech is fine, but for whoever it is that's coming towards, right, like for, Elon Musk, yeah. his ability to have freedom of speech is very different than a yes. person of color Absolutely. to have freedom mm -hmm. of speech. And so we are sitting here as parents, right? We're mm -hmm. parents and we have children. Yeah. And you, it's very difficult to tell them, hey, this is not okay when you've got a platform yeah. where grown we're adults doing right? yeah, are doing exactly yeah. what we're yeah. saying. Yep. Please don't do yeah. this. It's going to be so, interesting to watch. Yes. Sure cool. thing. Yes. Yeah. Well, thank you all so much for taking the time oh. to come here, share your thoughts, and to share more about the show. Yes. And remember, you can touch into Mun Theater's Two Mile Hollow at the Broadway Performance Hall from April 26th to May 14th. Cannot wait to go see it.